donut. Ah, get that away from me. Is it poison? It's chocolate. Mm. Ah, I'll talk, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. I've been wanting to do a lip sync tutorial on Procreate Dreams for a while now. And I found a workaround that I think works well for lip sync in the program, at least till they add their own functionality to it. So to demonstrate that, I took some audio from this Justice League action cartoon that I saw on YouTube, and I thought it was pretty funny. And it's kind of short, so I thought it would work well for this tutorial. So I've already recreated the scene, except for the mouse. And I will go through the process and procreate dreams of adding the mouse substitutions and lining those up with the audio, how to import audio, and some other tips and tricks. So hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe, and let's get started. So here I'm going to procreate dreams, and I'll go over the scene real quick. You can see that I have a couple of tracks. One is the group, which is the donut and the hand. And I'll close that. I have the drawing, which is all of Batman, because he's not going to be animated. And then below that, I have a really rough background. So the first thing I want to do is bring in a mouth chart. And I've used this mouth chart in the past. I found it online, but I couldn't find who created it. So I don't know how to give credit for that. But I will provide a link below. I think you can still get it on Pinterest. If not, I'll leave a download link. So to bring in the mouth chart, I'm going to hit the plus and hit file. Click on that. Click open. You can see I've got that here. If I can, I can drag that to increase the size. Then I can bring it over here. I may bring the size down just a bit and over so I can then increase the size like that. I'm going to go up here and create a new track. Now I've got an overlay that's creating this fade in. So let me turn that off for now. I'll bring my playhead over. I'm going to go into draw and paint mode. I'm going to draw this first mouth. So that's just a closed mouth. So I'm going to click on my pen. I'm going to go to technical pen. Make sure I've got black. And just draw a straight mouth. Okay, I think that'll do. So if I scroll in here, you can see I've got one frame. I'm going to bring that over. Now you could name it closed mouth, closed teeth, open mouth. But since I have these numbers, I'm going to use the numbers for mine. So if I click and hold, and I keep saying click because I use a mouse all day long. So when I say click, I mean touch or hold or tap. So let me hit rename, and I'm just going to type in one. And hit done. Now you can see I have the name up here. So I'm going to click there, and you can see I've got my onion skinning on. I'm going to leave that because that will give me a good idea of where I'm at. So I'm actually going to drag this down and go into flipbook mode. And I'm just going to draw the outline of these first, and then I'll go in on different layers and change the colors. So I'll add the additional colors, the black and the red. So this is going to be a closed teeth. And you can tell I don't have brush stabilization on. So I'm actually going to go out of flipbook mode. I want to go to my properties. Go to pressure and smoothing, and I'll bring that stabilization out a bit. Back, done. I'm going to go back to this frame, come out of draw mode, click on it, and I'm actually going to bring that up a bit. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to click back on draw and paint and go back to flipbook mode. And we'll go to the next frame. I'm going to draw this mouth in. And you see, I got a lot more stabilization. I'm going to go to the next frame. And this is just a demo. I'm not trying to be you know, super perfect with it. Go to the next one. And I'll rename these once I'm done. And I'll probably go ahead and speed this up so I can get all these drawn quickly so you don't have to sit through this process. Okay, so that's all the mouths drawn. So if I go to, say, this one, I click and hold. I can rename that to 1. Hit Done. Now you can see that here. So I go through and rename all these, matching the numbers that are in the chart. 
Okay, so now you can see I've got these numbered to match that. So once that's done, I'm going to go in and color one of these. So I'm going to choose three because a bit of the tone color. So I'm going to click on that, go back to draw mode, go back to flipbook mode. You can see I have my layers here. So this will be my top layer. So I'm going to click on plus. So I'm going to click and hold and then we'll drag this layer up. And I'll click plus again, click and hold and drag this layer up. So now I've got my pencil layers. Then we'll click on the bottom layer, make sure I got black selected. I'm going to go in and color this black. So with layer two selected, I'm going to hit plus again. So I'm going to have a layer for the artwork, then the teeth, tongue, and then the black part of the mouth. So I'm going to click on this one, change this to a red color. And click on the next one, change this to white, and there's our mouth. So I may come out of draw mode, go in, tap this, and I may just shrink it down a bit, and then move it over. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go through and color all of these the same way I did this one, and then I'll be right back. You can see if I scroll through here what that looks like. Okay, now I've got that set up, I want to bring in an audio file. So I'm going to click here and I'll hit add track. So you can see that I added a track. So I want the foreground, the fade in to be at the very top. So I've got that track. I want to hit plus, add file, go to sound effects and choose this. Hit done. And this sound effect and this concept came from the cartoon Justice League Action. So this was a scene in there, and you can look it up on YouTube. I'll leave a link below where Superman and Batman are flipping roles, and Batman's the good cop and Superman's the bad cop, and they're interviewing Deadshot. So that'll be kind of funny and provide a good example. Okay, so you can see I've got that audio file now here. You can see my donut animation doesn't come in until here. So I'm going to drag the front of this off. So I'm going to drag this wave down a bit. See what that looks like. Donut. Get that away from me. Is it poison? It's chocolate. Mm. I'm actually going to bring the audio down so I can see it better. So you can see D's there. So if I look at the mouth chart, I know D, the D sound. So I'm going to go with 7 for this. And I'll click that and hold, and I'm going to hit duplicate. Then I'll click it and drag it up here. Okay, so I also want a closed mouse. So I'm going to click that, hit duplicate, drag that up here. And I'll grab that and bring it all the way down. So now it has a closed mouth. I'm going to click this frame with the D sound to the edge lights up, and I'm going to drag that over to here. Now I'm going to select my O sound, and that's number 5, so I'm going to click that, hold it, click Duplicate, drag that up and over. All right. Donut. I'm going to click that edge, drag it over, right. and the N sound is like your tongue at the top, so I'm going to choose 7 for that. So since I already have 7 here, I'm going to click that, Duplicate, Drag it over. So now I need to extend that one. So I'll click and hold on the edge so it turns red and bring that over. Okay, now 13 is where my next one is. Okay, I'll come out of draw mode, then I'll click this button here, and if I drag my pencil across, you can see I select all of those. 
Then I'll hold on one and click copy. Then we'll scroll down to my next line. Then we'll hold on that and click paste. And you see I've got my mouth substitutions here. So I need to bring my close mouth down. So I'm going to highlight that so it turns red. To about there. Let me play through this. I need a eh sound. So I'm going to bring this down a bit and bring this over. So now you can see I see these if I scroll through here. So I'm going to go in and turn them all off. And now if I scroll through here. So I need a S sound. So if I look at my mouth chart, I want to use 9. So I'm going to hold on that hit duplicate, drag that up, turn it on. Now I'm going to get this edge and bring it down. It's chocolate. The mouth is off a little bit, so let me bring this around. You can see that my anchor's off. So I'm going to click on these three, edit anchor, my anchor's over here, put it there, click done. Now if I tap on that, I get this curve, and now you can see I'm turning it in the axis I want. I'm going to use two for this one. I'm going to hold on it, hit duplicate, grab it, bring it up, turn it on. Bring this down a little bit. I need an ah sound, which is five. So I'm going to click on that, hold, hit duplicate, drag it up, turn it on. Let me play this. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. And you see if I pinch out on my timeline and then I hit play, it's only going to play what you see. So I get a quicker review that way. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. So I need a L sound, which is a 7. So I'm going to hold on that, hit duplicate, drag it up, turn it on. So if I scrub through here, so I'm going to pull a 3 up. So hold that, duplicate, drag it up, turn it on, bring it out just a little. I need another seven. So I'm going to duplicate, drag it up, turn it on. Chocolate. Now you close mouth. So I hold on one, duplicate, click it, bring it up. Turn it on. So let me play through this. It's chocolate. Mm. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. Okay. So now I just need to extend this out to the end of my wave. I'm going to turn off the mouth chart. So you can just click that button there. And I'm going to turn on my foreground fade in. So now I'm going to hit play. Donut. Donut. Get that away from me. Is it poison? It's chocolate. Mm. Oh, I'll talk. I'll Donut. Donut. Get that away from me. Is it poison? It's chocolate. Mm. Oh, I'll talk. I'll talk. Now you see that mmm is with your mouth shut, but to emphasize that, you could add some additional animations, such as like squinting his eyes when he does that. Mmm. But for basic lip sync, I think this shows you everything you need to know to get started. While this process isn't as smooth as something like you'd see in Toon Boom Harmony or Moho, I think for now, the ability to just duplicate those mouths after you draw them and drag them up into another track with them turned off and then turning them on works really well. So if you found this video helpful, if so, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Donut. Get that away from me. Is it poison? It's chocolate. Mm. Oh, I'll talk. I'll